Hi guys, hope you will be fine. This is Dr. Shahid Iqbal. I want to discuss with you people about the earth that is the, and the shell of earth. In this topic we will discuss about atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere and lithosphere. I want to tell you what is meant with the biosphere. Bio means life, severe, that sphere that is in wealth are the part of the universe which having the living organism or which is inhabited by the living organism set to the biosphere. That is a, this is a life supporting environment of the planet where life can exist. Every part, everywhere where life can exist is the part of the biosphere. It might be the air, it might be, it might be the rocks, it might be the deep seas where life can exist. This must be the part of the biosphere. Uh, there are three chief media for supporting of the life. One is the most important set in the air. Air, second one weather, third one soil. If we are discussing uh, the biosphere, that is in discussing the air, in we discuss we call the atmosphere. If we are discussing the life in the water, then it is called the hydrosphere. When we are discussing the life at the soil, it is called lithosphere. These all three medias are not isolated or separated from each other. They are connected with each other. They are not completely isolated. They connect with each other. Uh, look, air can be present in everywhere. Not only the atmosphere, but it is also present in the water. It is also present in the lithosphere. It is also present in the soil. Hydrosphere, it is a, not only the present in the seas. Not confined to the seas, is also it also present at the part of the important part of lithosphere. It may be present in the form of the vapors in the air. At the lithosphere, this is a purely uh, that part which is uh, only confined to the soil. And uh, atmosphere, we discuss it in detail. Multi-layer gaseous envelope surrounding the planet Earth. It only included the gases. As I told you earlier, a, it, it is the contact, it have a contact with the three other two major environment. With this, this is in, interacting with each other. This the nature, quality of the air uh, is responsible for the distribution of the life. You know if there is no air, there's, there's, there must be the no life. It means air is a very very compulsory complement. Air is not only the supporting the life, but it, it also filter the harmful UV radi radiation from the sun. If it is unable to filter the UV radiation, the UV radiation goes to the soil and it can cause a deterioration, it may cause a cancer, uh, skin cancer and multiple other diseases. And in this circumstance, life becomes impossible if there is no ozone. In spite of this, air also affects the climate. It, it, it also have the several element responsible are essential for the life. In this way, we can say that air is one of the prime important. It is a it, it also the vapor. It also the support of the life. It also have the oxygen. It also an essential element of the life. These are various zones of the atmosphere. One of them, which is a very very near uh, to us, is the troposphere. Other one is stratosphere, this is a mesosphere, inosphere and the exosphere. In this diagram, there is a certain part of represented here. This is the planet Earth. This is the planet Earth. This is the first layer, which is a very near to the soil. This is called the troposphere. This is this is next one is a stratosphere. And in this way, this is the mesosphere. This is the thermo or inosphere, and last one is exosphere. There are several zonation of the atmosphere. What is happening in each layer? We discussed in the, in the conjecture slides. Uh, look here. This is a troposphere. This is the first layer. Uh, this is the very first layer to the, uh, which is near to the soil. It is subject to the differential heating. 
because solar radiation directly uh, touches the ground and also there is a temperature inversions and there are also the convection currents. This is part the extended from the surface of the earth up to the height of 8 to 10 km at the polar latitude. Here we are represented at the polar latitude. This is this is the equator, this is the pole from the polar latitude. It is uh, from 8 to 10 km above. And this is a 10 to 12 km moderate latitude. This latitude is very moderate, it is a 10 to 12 km. And at the equator, it might be covered from 16 to 20 km from soil to the, up to into the air. This is the, uh, this is the variation of the length of this the troposphere. Why troposphere is so important? Most important a zone of the atmosphere is present in the troposphere. This is a very important part of the troposphere. Many important climatic events has been take place in this layer. For example, there is a formation of the clouds. There is a lightning, there is a thundering, thundering, thundering storm formation, etc. There is a several activities which is a carrying and the troposphere. One of the important is the formation of the ozone and presence of the ozone. In the troposphere, the percentage of the different gases is a different. It is a not evenly distributed in the whole troposphere because from uh, from a uh, lower level to the upper level, then we, when we go go higher. The concentration of the different gases may vary. It is not constant, and it is not constant from area to area. It can be changed, and the water vapor, vapor to vapor, the water vapor, and other important aspects. Water vapor may be. It depends upon the climatic change. Whether it is a winter, whether it is a cold, a summer or autumn, it depends upon the weather, and also the localities. Maybe in the winter, it is saturated with water vapors. And maybe in the winter there is no water vapor at all, the, the, the humidity is a very, uh, level is very low. If you considering in the airs which is present at the above the deserts, it is a very warm, very hot. It has a no humidity at all. If you examining there which is located at the above the seas, because there is a water, there is a vapor, a continuous say, evaporation of the water, that air must be saturated with the water. In this way, uh, the vaporization and the quality of the air with reference to the water vapors is greatly varies. And in spite of this, uh, as we uh, go up, uh, the quantity of air also the, uh, decreases sharply. This is temperature variations in the different zones of the tros troposphere. As we as the air temperature gradually decrease with the height at the rate of 5, 6.5 degree per kilometer. In spite of this, more specifically 5 degree centigrade per kilometer in the lower tro at troposphere and the 7 degree per kilometer in the upper troposphere. Towards the upper layer of the troposphere, temperature may decrease up to the minus 60 degrees centigrade. Imagine how um, much lower temperature in the top layers of the troposphere. Upper region has the narrow boundary called the tropopause, which is different, which is separate, uh, segregate the troposphere from stratosphere. This is the constant, this tropopause have a very constant temperature because there is no fluctuation in the temperature, the tropopause. Because this is a positive, this is a trans transition area which is segregate the troposphere from the stratosphere. And the next one is the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, uh, this is uh, represented here in this diagram. This is a Mount Everest, uh, second highest. Uh, uh, this is the world's uh, mountainest and the tallest uh, mountain in the world. This is this is look here. This is the Topo Pass. This is the transitional boundary between the troposphere and the atmos stratosphere. This is this is Topo Pass. This temperature remains same. This is equal to near about the 10 kilometer from above that. This is a commercial. Uh, uh, jets which are uh, flying here in the zone. This is also the some clouds which are responsible for the rain. And this is the SPY jets which is uh, which army sent into, into the uh, stratosphere for the sake for sake of their missions for the telecommunication for the photographs etc. 
this is the weather balloons also present here the, this is in the stratosphere the, this is as uh, weather balloon represent the uh, indication about the weathering the ups and downs about the climatic conditions so this determine how the changes are taking place in the stratosphere the, this is a representative form from 10 to the 50 kilometer this is another important zone which is called the stratosphere second zone about 30 kilometer height nearly 30 kilometer height this zone is the free from the clouds and aeroplane usually fly the lower zone because aeroplane are usually a one, uh, fly at the zone where there's no fluctuation of the air there's a no cloud uh, and even whenever you have to fly to another country uh, you can imagine you can look down when you are sitting at the window uh, the seat of uh, the window side then you can uh, see downs uh, like the uh, cotton plugs are floating in the air this these are the clouds uh, and a plane is uh, very high above the clouds so this is our stratosphere is a free from the clouds because in the stratosphere a plane can fly temperature increases up to the 90 degrees centigrade due to the ozone formation under influence of the UV radiation because ozone formation is a totally dependent upon the ozone ozone formation is totally dependent on the temperature this is because there is a very photochemical reactions in the formation of the ozone layer ozone layer is a very important layer for the filtering of the UV radiations such a layer of ozone is called ozonosphere and this is a layer which has own formation take place this is this is termed as ozonosphere look here in ozonosphere sunlight ionizes oxygen to ozone uh, by photochemical reactions as photochemical dissociations ozonosphere completely absorbed from the suns which which things are and the solar radiations, UV radiations, a lot of infrared radiation, warmer than the adjacent layer above or below. Because there is a photochemical reaction, there must be the exothermic reaction, a huge quantity of energy must be produced. And this layer is a, a relatively higher temperature from above and lower layers. And uh, there is a serious threat to this layer. Because this layer is a gradually thinning due to the half of power returns. But during the current years, in the 2020, uh, there is a due to the COVID-19, uh, there is a transportation will become minimized, there is a severe lockdowns in the different countries of the world, so there is a less explore, uh, there is a less combustion of the fuels, uh, and less transportation, and less, less automobiles uh, movements, so uh, ozone layer become gradually healed up. Oh, this is the a big hole which is continuing with the ozone layer above the Antarctic region and now this is a gradually healing this area of the zone at the Antarctic region and look at this is resembling here this is a September 2010 uh, gradually this is a ozone hole this is a gradually increase from year to year and 10 11 12 13 etc from 15 gradually this uh, hole become gradually increases And uh, from upper layer of the troposphere from the stratopause. Stratopause is also a separating zone. This is a, a this is a stratopause. This is a between mesosphere and the stratosphere. This is a stratosphere where the temperatures are also the constant. Look at this is separate. This is the this is the uh, radio sounds. This is a clown aircraft Mount Everest. So these are located in these two zones. In the mesosphere, there is a temperature gradual decrease, then again temperature constantly increased. In the mesosphere, there is a temperature nearly minus 85 degrees centigrade and at the, at the stratopause, there is temperature nearly the 0 degrees centigrade and this is stratosphere temperature and upper stratosphere minus 60 degrees centigrade temperature gradually. There is a fluctuation in the temperature when we move above from the mesosphere, from thermosphere to ozosphere, temperature drastically increases. Look here uh, how ozone formation uh, will take place. So this is a very energetic, highly energetic UV radiation when strike to the oxygen, it is dissociated with nascent oxygen. This atomic oxygen combined with this oxygen from the three oxygen molecules which is called the ozone. 
and look here this is the also the animated formation of those uh, this is the uh, oxygen molecule when UV radiation touches it this this is a this oxygen molecule dissociated and become atomic oxygen this atomic oxygen combined with the molecular oxygen from the ozone layer it from the ozone uh, this is a chlorofluorocarbon which is a pollutant and they are responsible for the thinning of uh, the breakdown of the ozone layer look here how they can break it break down uh, uh, this is the look from here uh, this is a chlorofluorocarbon which is circling the oxygen this is a this is a chlorine attaches to the uh, ozone and separating the one atomic uh, atoms of the oxygen from O3 so it is again converted to the oxygen this is a continuously thinning process it is a very deteriorated process if this process carry on so how life will be possible at this universe it is unbelievable we cannot survive because solar radiation, radiations the extensive radiation this cause called the very uh, mutations they can cause a like cancerous disease the life cannot be possible until when we consider the beginning of the universe the life cannot be survived as, as, as the lithosphere until up till how there is a formation of ozone layer if this is thinning gradually how we can survive here it is a very alarming situation you must have to think about this uh, thank you very much uh, for watching my video and uh, uh, next part will be discussed in the next part and, and subscribe my channel Thank you.